Art of War. Sun Tzu wrote the book on how to conduct war. Will game science write the book on how cross-platform gaming should be done? Let's find out. Sup fam, Freedom Work here. Today I will be giving my first impression on Art of War Red Tides. Keeping to tradition, I will be basing my first impression on these five categories. One, the overall feel, meaning movement, ping, and how well optimized the game is. Two, pick up and mastery. How easy is it to download the game, start playing, and how long would it take you to become a master level player? Three, who is this game for? Being the competitive, hardcore, or the casual gamer? Four, the business model. Is it a good model for what the game is? And lastly, is it fun? Because in the end, that's what a game is supposed to be. So what is Art of War Red Tides? It's a real-time strategy based defense game developed and published by Game Science and was released on December 22, 2016 in Early Access. It's planned to be a cross-platform game for PC and mobile devices. At this time, we don't have the full details on the other platforms. However, this one was tested on the PC platform. The premise of this game is quite simple. You select an army, the Turan, the Atlak, or the Yaogwai, each of which being class-based. This means that you will have all of your basic troop types, melee, range, tanks, flying units, etc. You will build your army composition before each battle by selecting from your choice of troops to fulfill each role. You can battle AI or real players in ways making troops while managing resources. The game is simple. Take down your enemy's defenses to destroy their base while defending yours. If you've played Halo Wars, Starcraft, or even Clash of Clans, this game will look and feel very familiar. So let's jump into those five categories. So how's the overall feel of this game? Movement felt really smooth. I didn't notice any drops in frame rate. I was able to play everything on Ultra and did not drop below 144 frames per second, which I capped to a 144Hz monitor, although it may vary according to your platform. The ping was not bad either. I had about 90ms throughout the time played, which is not bad for a game of this design. So overall, this game seems really well optimized. So how easy is it to understand? The barrier to entry is relatively low. The tutorial is easy to follow and straightforward, although it is a little long and not much peripheral information is explained, like the growth of troop capacity and resource production upgrades. The game is simple to start playing. That being said, mastery? Not so much. The simplicity of play coupled with the layers of troop development and selection, army composition, along with multi-layered progression, gives some weight into mastering this strategic game. Meaning that developing and mastering your own playstyle and adapting it to others, opponents, and allies will take some time and focus. Who is this game for? I see this game having a lot to offer to the casual and the competitive real-time strategy gamers. Casuals can jump right in for a few minutes or even hours engaging in a few matches to escape from a long day of work or study. The competitive can schedule team matches with fellow competitors for team smackdowns. Either of these types of gamers will be thoroughly satisfied. As for the hardcore, it remains to be seen if there will be any global leaderboards for this game, although I wouldn't be surprised if I overlooked it or if it is forthcoming. Considering that this is intended to be a cross-platform game, it just may be. I'm very interested in how they will progress with this game. On PC, it is obvious that it plays like a screen-tapping mobile game due to its pace and simplicity. If I can jump into a team match during a lunch break at work on my tablet or smartphone with a friend at home on his PC, this will be a great development in the gaming world that I have not seen before. So is it a good business model for what the game is? This game is free to download and play, with microtransactions that are not pay exclusive perks. That simply means it's not pay to win. So this is great overall. I'm glad that Game Science went with this model. 
Smart move. Now, was this game fun? Yes. This game has a nostalgic quality for anyone who has played any of the previously mentioned real-time strategy games. It's really easy to jump in, start playing, and progress your account and armies. There are many ways to play this game and build your armies almost any way that you want. Also, it lends itself to various playstyles and being able to cross-platform will lead to more players being able to jump in and just start enjoying conquering other players. The cross-platforming idea Game Science is going with really has me wondering if and how it will work being able to play together on my phone while Echo is on his PC. Well, this is my first impressions of Art of War Red Tides. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how I did and maybe I might do more videos like this with Echo in the future. If you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click the bell so you don't miss the next time a video goes live. I hope you all have a great day and remember, let's make gaming fun again. Well everyone, I would really like to thank Freedom Work for helping me on the production of this video. If you enjoy his work, make sure to give him a follow on his social medias provided on the screen and in the description down below. I really like his thoughts on his politics and his point of views on life, and I really think other loyal sages would feel the same. So go ahead and give him a follow. Thank you all for watching the video, and like Freedom Works said, let's make gaming fun again.